Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, I'm Carrie. And in today's video, well today, I recently picked up some new live bears for the fish room and they are not like the others, so stay tuned. Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, your place for guppy love and more. Sharing the good, the bad, and the unexpected adventures of fish keeping, let the show start in three, two, one. Enjoy. So I recently just got back from visiting a new fish store here in Missouri and I highly recommend Midwest Aquarium and Pond. It was absolutely fantastic. I had no intention on purchasing a new fish but when I walked in they had over 300 tanks full of salt water, fresh water, reptiles, and a beautiful shopping area that had pretty much anything you need for your fish room. Again, I highly recommend this store. The whole intention was buying pond plants. They have a very nice, relaxing, and inviting outside area full of unique pond plants. And we don't have anything like this around here before. So I thought it was perfect timing with the summer tubs and the pond to go shopping and make sure that you are subscribed to Science Gal Aquatics because I will be bringing you an update here shortly on how my overspending on pond plants is benefiting all of the koi rice fish, rosy red minnows and the white cloud minnows because there are fry now. So make sure you are subscribed for that update. But again, I had no intention on purchasing fish, but I could not resist at all. I beeline for this tank once I spotted it. I've always been fascinated by this fish, but I never thought I would get to see it in person and have the opportunity to actually bring it home to the fish room and be able to update you. But I got the pike live bear, or otherwise known as the pike killifish, and uh, they look like jumpers, <laughs> they really do. But I am so excited to actually have these in the fish room and be able to show you how they continue to grow and thrive because I think that they're doing pretty well. They've only been in the fish room for a few days, so let me catch you up on what they look like when I brought them home and then I will quickly update you on how they are doing today. I did just want a trio. I wanted two females and a male, but I ended up bringing home two females and two males. But I'm still so excited to have this live bear that's not like anything else in the fish room here and I think that they're doing well. They're starting to eat now. So without any further ado, let me show you what these guys look like. After doing some quick research and talking with the staff at the store, I learned that I'm going to have to upgrade their tank soon. These are larger than any other live bear in my fish room and the females will outgrow the males. The females do have the potential to grow up to nine inches and the males will be smaller, closer to four inches. And I do think these are around three, three and a half inches and the females do look a little larger. Water parameters are 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. A pH is recommended of seven to eight. And I was recommended and have read to add salt to their tank, which I haven't yet, but let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below, salt or no salt. I did go ahead and acclimate them for about 20 minutes or so just to the room and water temperature. And then it was time to go ahead and get them out of this fish bag and into some fresh fish room water. And then after another handful of minutes or so, it was time to go ahead and introduce them to their new home.
because these pike live bears are otherwise known as pike killifish and personally every killifish I've had in the past has jumped and these just look like jumpers. This will be my temporary lid till I can come up with something different and I will be keeping the water level dropped. To me, this is quite the unique live bear, but like all other live bears, they do have internal fertilization and will drop live fry. The males do have a stick-like fin called a gonopodium that does inseminate the females, and the females themselves have a more triangular back fin. And honestly, I can't wait to be able to show you what the fry will look like in the future. And after caring for them for a little while now, I have noticed they do spend much of their time in the upper level of the fish tank. And they do honestly seem aggressive, so I don't plan on having or keeping fry or any other fish species in with them. And when I say they are aggressive, the only evidence I do have is that they are aggressive towards each other. There is a strong trio, the two females and one of the males. The other male is often hiding. He is still eating, but he's often on his own. I do have another tank of male-only live bears, and it did take some time before they all got along. When it does come to feeding this tank, I have been trying every food in the fish room, and so far they really do seem to enjoy anything frozen. The bug bites, and tonight I did try the Hikari freeze-dried brine shrimp, and it does seem to be a hit. Make sure you subscribe to Science Gal Aquatics and that bell notification is clicked because I cannot wait to be able to show you fry. But until next time, I'll see you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!